Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBRO Labs. For more information, you can visit us at www.jcbrolabs.org. So, we also provide uh, the tutorial videos or we also provide the tuitions directly uh, through Skype for various topics like on control system, MATLAB, LabVIEW, embedded system, etc. So in our last video we talked about Rao Thurwitz criteria and stability analysis using Rao Thurwitz criteria and what are the and how to solve some of the special cases if they occur in Rao Thurwitz table. So in the same series today we will talk about the stability design using Rao Thurwitz. So stability design means uh, suppose if we have been given with some transfer function so the question remains like for what values of k our closed loop system remains stable so that's we are going to discuss today so it is stability design Okay, so uh, generally what happens, uh, let's say we have a closed loop system like this and we have HSA, so we have a feedback closed loop system. Uh, this is our input RS and here we have our uh, unit gain feedback system. Let's say we take an example of unit gain feedback gain system and where h of s is given as k divided by s into s plus 7 into s plus 11 so this is our system and it is said like uh, for what values of k this uh, uh, our system remains stable and what are the ranges out uh, after which this system starts becoming unstable okay so let's first find out what is the closed loop transfer function so closed loop transfer function will be hs divided by 1 plus hs right so it comes out to be k divided by the denominator polynomial will be s cube plus 18 s square plus 77 times s plus k so our characteristics polynomial will become uh, this one s cube plus 18 s square plus 77 s plus k so now we will create our route table from this closed loop transfer function so first will be we have a highest power of s cube so first row will be start from s cube then second column s and then up to 0 so it is 1 and then next power of s 77 then we will have s square so it will be 18 and then it is k right so now next uh, row will become s to the power 1 so it will be uh, 18 into 77 minus k divided by 18 so it comes out to be if you solve it 1386 minus k divided by 18 and the next column item because all other elements are 0 so this will be 0 now next power that is many power that is s to the power 0 so this uh, this term minus, multiply this minus 18 into 0 divided by this so obviously it will become k only ok so now we will talk about one by one first is because we want a stable system so first condition in order to make the stable we know all these value needs to be positive all the sign needs to be positive so this positive sign is only possible when it is only possible when k is greater than 0 so this is our first condition when k is greater than 0 only then there will be a positive sign now in order to 
extract the upper bound we have another variable as well uh, with in terms of k uh, this one so we will consider this number should also be greater than 0 and so 1386 minus k divided by 18 should greater than be 0 so k should be less than 1386 so here comes uh, condition so overall so an overall in this range between 0 to k to 1386 if uh, this is the case our system will remain stable and if k is greater greater than 1386 then our system will become unstable so overall for stability so this is how we define uh, the range of k for the stability concern now the next question is what happens if k is greater than equals to if k equals to 1386 so if k is 1386 then s to the power 1 become a uh, if k is 1386 then let's draw the table again Uh, in in the case s cube will remain same and that was 1 and 77 and then s square it will be 18 and 1386 so if we have this s to the power 1 because we are considering a case 1 1 3 case 1 3 8 6 this term will become 0 and next term is also become 0 so entire row has been converted to 0 so what we'll do as we discussed in our last class we'll take a, a temporary polynomial based on the previous row uh, above uh, above uh, or previous row or the uh, previous row of the row in which all elements are 0 so it is case 18 s square plus 1 3 8 6 and we divide by this dps by ds it will become 36 s so instead of 0 we will write here 36 and it is 0 so s to the power 0 will be this into this divided by 1386 so it will become simply 1386 so overall there is no positive sign change and as we discussed in our, our last class because uh, there is an even polynomial here so, or we can say this is the even polynomial so it will have two roots and those two roots will either lie on the uh, because they will be symmetric about origin so they will either lie on this uh, real axis or imaginary axis over here because there is no negative sign appear up coming up here so it is sure that there will be no root on the right side of the s plane okay so this is sure because all the positive sign are there so there will be no roots appearing on the right side of the s plane so that uh, that indicates like the two roots of this even polynomial will occur somewhere on the j omega axis and another root because the third order polynomial will occur somewhere here or here because we are not sure about it whether it will be plus sign or minus so it will be only on the real axis because there are only three roots so this is the only possible configuration in which root can appear okay so now we can say if uh, roots are lying on this j omega axis so our system will become marginally stable so we can conclude hence so we can conclude hence uh, if k equals to 1386 system will be marginally stable so this is how we can find all the ranges or the locations of the root like for which ranges it will become stable for which range it will be unstable and for which range our system will become marginally stable so 
if you have some confusion about like how to find uh, where these roots will lie in case of entire row is zero so and uh, we will, i will suggest you should go through our previous video of the special case too so that's it for this video i hope you understood like how to create uh, a stability design with drought thurbits criteria so that's it for this video thank you